So what'd you think? Of course you loved it, it's B-roll. Everybody loves B-roll. And I threw that together in just a few minutes today. And I guess the secret's out. I'm not a huge drinker, but I do love my whiskey. Anyways, we're talking about something today called the Zeppin Micro 2. And what this is, is a little video slider. And if you don't know what a video slider is, it's pretty much something that you probably didn't even know you needed. And to be honest, you probably don't need one, but it does make your life easier and it can really make some awesome shots and let you be really creative uh, with what you can do with video. So I thought I'd show you what I've been doing with this thing. My friends over at Zeppin have sent this to me to uh, check out and review. And uh, I thought I'd break it down for you guys, show you the good and the bad. And by the end of this video, you should find out if uh, you need one of these bad boys. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. We're looking at the Zeppin Micro 2. And this is a little slider that I've used to film the entire beginning sequence, as well as a lot of the B-roll and product stuff that I'm doing lately. It's just really become part of my workflow. So let's jump right into an unboxing here and see what you get. This slider is made and packaged extremely well, especially for the price when you consider it. And if you're wondering how much it costs, you can pick it up for around 210 American dollars or about 270 with an optional add-on that it has, which I do really recommend, but we'll get into that later. It's made of great materials, including mainly an aircraft grade aluminum alloy and weighs only 2.65 pounds. So it's a decent weight, but does have a nice 11 pound safety capacity and a max capacity of 17.6 pounds. It also comes with a nice little convenient neoprene carrying case. Here's everything in the box. All right guys, so let's check out this thing in a little bit more detail. And here it is, and I wanted to just point out a few things for you. Now, basically what it's gonna have on the top here is a 3 8 mount, a male on the top and a female on the bottom. And you're gonna be able to mount it there onto your tripod or what have you. As well, on the top, you're gonna be able to put on your favorite ball head or, you know, screw on your camera if you're into that. But most likely you'll probably have some kind of ball head on there. And one of the greatest things about this thing is that traditionally with a slider, you're only gonna really be able to slide or move your camera from one end to the other of the slider. So really this doesn't really look like you have a lot of room to work with, but the way they've designed it, it actually doubles the size of it because it actually goes all the way out just like that. So it's kind of neat how they've done that. It's saving on not just weight, but also the size of this thing for transport. So that's kind of neat. It's got fluid dampening technology, so you can see just how smooth this thing is as I push it along. It's fantastically smooth. And I wanted to bring up right now that additional, uh, basically add-on that you can get for it. It's called the Easy Lock 2. And what this basically is, is pretty much I wish they included it in the whole package because without it, I really see this thing being a little bit more frustrating to use, to be honest. It's gonna include a ball head as we see right here and that's going to just screw on top for you and this is a nice really well made ball head but i do have one issue with it and i will get into that it's kind of a major one but i think they're on the road to fixing it as we speak right now so hopefully that may be cleared up when uh, when you get yours if you do decide to go with this thing and the other half of this guy is the easy lock part is what this is is basically a machine part and they've done a pretty good job it folds out and goes right onto the bottom of your slider and basically makes it its own little tripod. So just like that. And so in about three seconds, you can throw that right on here and right on the back here, there's a little butterfly nut or whatever that's called to throw that on. And just like that, we've created its own little tripod. So you can put that down outside on a table or whatever you're doing and throw your camera on and start going. And one of the awesome things about this is they've included as well a little mount so that you can actually throw this right on to your tripod using an Arca Swiss plate. So typically I have mine right on my tripod so that I can quick release, grab this thing, take it off and go. And I really like that feature, so that's kind of cool. So that's what you get with the 
easy lock two system. I think I said this is about 60 or 70 bucks. So the whole package is about $260 and it's gonna look something like this. And like I said, you can use this thing on an angle and really just use the weight of gravity, basically the weight of your camera to let it make really nice, smooth, beautiful scenes for you really nice clips and just kind of takes the time out of editing that you would have basically taken. And that's what this really thing's for is, is convenience. One of the things that uh, you do if you do a lot of video editing and whatnot, time is money and we want to get it right in camera. So this just helps to do just that. You really don't have to do a heck of a lot of editing if you have a nice smooth shot right off the bat. Everything that you saw at the beginning of this video, that whole sequence there, that was done without any editing, no stabilizing. So that was just thrown onto this slider and just moved the slider a little bit and did some cool shots. So that's a really kind of brief overview of this guy and the Micro 2, so far so good for me. So now I'm gonna tell you a few things that I really don't like about it. One, I already told you, but it doesn't actually include the whole system to make this kind of usable in a lot of situations. And you do get the ball head, which is nice, but the ball head does have a flaw. And if you look really closely here, you can see that actually that padding where it would rest against your camera, there's a lip here, a metal lip, and the padding is actually under the lip. So that lip is actually gonna be pressed right up into your camera. So if you're really trying to get that thing tight, you guessed it, yep, it's gonna damage your camera. And that's exactly what happened to me. I guess I was trying to get it really you know, on there and it scratched my $2,000 Sony a7 III. So needless to say, I'm not too happy with that. And like I said, I was in touch and they did forward that information to the engineers and they were basically working on that right away. So hopefully that's fixed in the future. And other than that, there are a few times when you get to the very end, depending on how heavy your system is, if you've got this thing on a tripod, that it will kind of go over. So you really have to make sure that your tripod is very sturdy, very strong, and really tightened down. And that's pretty much it. I don't have a heck of a lot of bad things to say about this thing. It does have a lot of good things going for it. It's very well made. The price point is very good. There's a lot of sliders out there now. It's a manual slider, but the price for what you're getting and what it does, the packaging, the quality materials, the carrying case, uh, I think it's pretty reasonable. And I actually have enjoyed my time with it so far. And I wanted to tell you guys too that this is a completely independent review. I told them I wasn't gonna, I was gonna tell it how it is. And, Honestly, this product is pretty decent with just a couple little kind of flaws, I would say. But all around, if you're looking for a decently priced kind of toolkit for your videos to get some smooth footage and to have something that's convenient for you on your shoots and whatnot, um, I would definitely recommend this thing to you. I hope you found this helpful. If you're thinking about getting a slider, maybe throw this one on the list. I'll leave an affiliate link down below if you want to pick it up. And I hope you liked this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting that like and subscribe button, of course, and drop your questions in the comments down below. Like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures and, of course, video. See you next time.